What's up everyone? Kyle from Driving and Vibing here and you're watching Road Gear Reviews. Today we are talking about a piece of monitoring equipment for your RV or your home, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do put out new videos every week about some of the best road gear out there. Today is no exception. We're talking about the Marcel Home or RV Monitoring System. Now, just a few quick basics about this system is that it monitors the humidity and the temperature of your RV. It also monitors whether this is receiving power or not. And it uses a cellular technology similar to your cell phones to report back that information to you wherever you may be if you have that cellular or internet connectivity. So first off, whenever we receive this device, we put it in our rig in a place that's, you know, a very livable environment that doesn't have direct sunlight or shade because we didn't want the temperature to have any bias. We wanted it to be as close to accurate as possible. Once we placed it there, we went onto the website and registered our device ID. That was a very simple process. But more specifically during this process, I was also given the opportunity to set our parameters. So what parameters are for a device like this is that it gave me the option to set a safe zone for temperature and humidity. With a temperature we set, um, I think 40 degrees was the low and 85 degrees was the high. That way the Marcel knows that if the temp's inside that range, not to send me any notifications but just report the regular data. Stay with humidity. If it's not either, either too dry or too humid, it'll just record the data and not send me any alerts. The cool thing about this device though is in that registration process, I could also say, you know, I want to be communicated with either through email, text message, or phone call. So if at any point the parameters were exceeded either high or low, I get a text message almost instantly. And that is what I love about this device. That's what's giving us the peace of mind that we did not have for the first two and a half years on the road. We're currently uh, living full time in our vintage fiber stream camper. But as you can see here, we are in this Airstream, which we are remodeling and the Marzo will definitely have a home inside here when we're done. Now, let me get back to kind of like the pricing and the plans for this and how all the monitoring and data works. First off, this device is like around 200 bucks and a yearly plan for that cellular service is right at around $90, $95. So that's about a $300 investment and then that'll give you a year of service. You can renew yearly, you can renew monthly, you know, it gives you some options. A few things to consider though, and kind of what disappointed me in the beginning with this device is that I couldn't get on-demand reports for free. So how this device works is that even though it's constantly measuring the temperature and humidity, only once an hour will it track the temp and humidity for data purposes. And once every about six hours will it then upload on the website to give me the previous six hours of information. So, you know, when we first got this device, we were super excited to keep an eye on the temperature and really monitor the rig while we we're away. But we learned pretty quick that, uh, that's not really a function of this device. You can buy on-demand um, reports. I think those reports cost $2 for eight of them. I was tempted to do that in the beginning, but as the novelty wore off, uh, you know, that temptation left me pretty quick. In the case that your parameters are ever exceeded, it doesn't wait an hour, it doesn't wait six hours to tell you. It tells you almost instantaneously through whatever form of communication you wanted. It will let you know if there is warning or high alert as far as those parameters go. But just as far as regular conditions, you don't really get the real time reports. You'll get something that's slightly delayed. So on the website where I registered this, I can also then go there and view the data. The data comes in sets of like a day, a week, or a month. And it's really interesting and fun uh, to look at the charts and see how uh, I've been, how the camera's been performing as far as temperature goes or cool or humidity goes. And I can track that over a course of a month. So something else to consider is there is not an app for this. So you can't just log onto an app and find this information on your iPhone or your Android device. But what we did do was go to the web page on our iPhones and we bookmarked that site and saved it as an app icon. So I can just scroll through my phone, press the icon, and that'll take me directly to the website that gives me the data of our rig. We have a dog that we love dearly and she likes to stay back at the rig sometimes when we go run an errand at a grocery store. 
if we're doing that, we want to know that the rig temperature is good for the dog. And we want to make sure that if there is anything out of whack that we'll get a notice immediately so we don't leave our pet in a rig that would be too hot. That is, the, for me, the number one selling point for this device. But it's also good if you do still live in a sticks and bricks house and just take weekend trips somewhere, that you can stick this in your home and monitor your home conditions while you're away on an RV trip. So the device, for us, just gives us that peace of mind and collects the fun information that we can look back each day, each week, or each month to really track the temperature and humidity that's taking place inside the rig. I'll go ahead and link all the information for this below. I'm pretty sure you can buy this on Amazon. You might even, even be able to buy it on eBay. And then go to their website and register it. And you can just uh, scan their website now and see what they offer. We'll put all those links below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know if you use this system or let us know if there is another system out there like this that you use because this is the first I've heard of it. So thanks again for watching guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button for weekly videos and we'll see you next time later on.